Damien Brace here in the QA1 R&D Center. Today we're going to talk about the differences between factory Mopar control arms and the QA1 tubular control arms. Factory control arms, stamped steel, rubber bushings, most of these cars, 40, 50 years old, they're going to be worn out, probably need to be replaced. QA1 control arms come with new bushings, new ball joints, polyurethane bushings are greasable as are the ball joints. On the lower control arms, tubular design, sway bar mount for use with an E-body sway bar. These will work on the, the B and E-body Mopars. This here is a factory arm. As you can see, there's no provision for a sway bar mount on it. It's also got a worn out factory bushing in here. So going with the QA1 control arm, get that sway bar mount, new bushings all set to bolt on, ready to go. The QA1 upper control arms are designed to increase the caster angle on the cars about three degrees, which is gonna help with the straight line stability, help the car perform a little bit better, help the steering wheel return to center. They don't have that wobbly feeling. As a side benefit, the QA1 control arms are lighter than the factory units and are made right here in Lakeville, Minnesota. In addition to the control arms, QA1 also offers the eccentric cam bolts for the uppers and the torsion bar adjusters for the lowers. Those will work with the QA1 control arms or factory control arms. If you're looking to improve the performance of your Mopar, pick up a set of our tubular control arms. Check us out at QA1.net or give us a call.